Jury selection began for the man accused of killing his wife with a meat cleaver five years ago. NBC 5 Sid Boulay has been covering this case. She joins us now from the newsroom with the very latest on this. Sid. Brian Alice, this is the second time Ida Guring's case will be held in a trial in a long anticipated case after it was originally dismissed because of issues with his insanity defense. A long debated murder case will finally be heard in front of a jury. According to police, Ida Gurung used a meat cleaver to kill his wife in 2017 outside of their Burlington home in the Old North End. Just as the case was set to head to trial in 2019, Chittenden County State's Attorney Sarah George dismissed the charges, claiming experts who had evaluated Gurung found him insane at the time of the crime, and the evidence would rule in Gurung's favor at trial. A judge then ordered Gurung to be held under the care of the Department of Mental Health. That was until several months later, when Governor Phil Scott requested the Vermont Attorney General review the case. After it was ruled Gurung was competent to stand trial in early 2021, the state began to build its case, bringing in forensic psychiatrist Dr. Catherine Lewis. She says after reviewing Gurung's extensive records, he had serious mental health issues. However, since English is his second language, his initial evaluation may have been misinterpreted, along with the fact that Gurung had been cooperating with doctors and attorneys, leading her to believe the alleged attack was more than a moment of temporary insanity, stating her case at a hearing last month. It was a long-standing pattern where she would not give him money to get him this alcohol, which he wanted, and when she didn't do it, it enraged him. And it was a pattern where he would hurt her and sometimes try to kill her when she did not do this for him. Dr. Lewis is set to testify in the upcoming trial. The court says jury draws expected to continue tomorrow. We'll have continuing coverage of this trial in the coming days here on NBC5. Reporting Sid Bule, NBC5 News.